A free and prosperous Indo-Pacific is more important than ever, U.S. President Joe Biden says while meeting with his Singaporean counterpart against the backdrop of a raging conflict in Ukraine, which Biden has painted as a global struggle between liberal democracy and autocracy. Singapore's leaders said this is a battle for a rules-based global order. VOA's Anita Powell reports from the White House. The tiny nation of Singapore is more than 8,000 kilometers from Kyiv, but the events there loom large for the Indo-Pacific, said Prime Minister Li Xinlong during his first White House visit with Biden on Tuesday. Li reiterated his nation's strong support of Kyiv because, he said, what happens in Europe reverberates around the world. The war in the Ukraine has implications for the Asia-Pacific. There are potential flashpoints and contentious issues in our region too, which, if not managed well, could escalate to open conflict. Countries with interests in the region need to pursue all efforts to settle disagreements through peaceful means so that we can avoid reaching a point of no return. Biden, who spent much of the last week in Europe shoring up those alliances, underscored the importance of global unity against Russian aggression. Putin's war is an unacceptable nations in every region of the world, not just Europe, but in every region of the world. It's an attack on the core international principles and it, that underpin peace and security and prosperity everywhere, including in the Indo-Pacific. Today, Singapore and the United States are united in sending the message to all nations, to all nations, regardless of their size or population, they are equal in their, right, in their rights on the global stage. They have a right to sovereignty and territorial integrity and to determine their own future free from violence and intimidation. Lee is the first leader from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations to visit the White House during the Biden administration. On Monday, he met with Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. Analyst Zach Cooper said Singapore, which has just 5 million people but is a major economic force in Southeast Asia, is sure to appreciate this high level of engagement from the world's largest economy. I think for Singapore, this is an important show that it's going to stand up for the rules of the existing international order and being able to come to the White House and, and be rewarded for that is, is an important uh, signal that, that the United States appreciates what Singapore has done in the last few weeks. And I think what we're going to hear over the next few months is a real desire from Singapore for the United States to take more of a leadership role economically. And I, I'm sure they will have passed that along in this White House visit. And regional experts say this small nation has a lot to offer the U.S. The last year alone, uh, Singapore was America's 18th largest trade partner in the world uh, and is also a free trade partner. And I think probably a couple of points that will be really part of the dialogue here is that, you know, we talk about, and you know, even before the Ukraine-Russia conflict, the importance of the Biden administration was really placing on trying to strengthen the resilience of America's global supply chains. Singapore, uh, in a number of key areas like energy and technology, is one of the major uh, trading and distribution hubs for the Indo-Pacific region. And Biden said this warm friendship will soon expand as the U.S. hopes to host more ASEAN leaders for a summit in coming months.